perhaps your wardrobe is not an easy task. We all know that. But trying to pack for a short city break where everything has to fit in a small carry-on, everything has to go together and make sense, and you need to make sure you don't over or underpack. Well, that's something else. And today I will share with you my mini capsule that I would take with me if I was going for a long weekend, not too warm, not too cold, uh, let's say something around 10 to 15, uh, 17 degrees Celsius. I focus on very classic and interchangeable pieces that can easily serve you for a week or more. Uh, so my usual city break will be something like that. Uh, one day is sightseeing, we just walk around the city, we walk a lot. That's our main thing, we love to do that in any place we go. Um, so we would uh, first decide on the places, the main uh, locations we want to visit. So obviously I need something comfortable to walk in. Then of course we would go for a lunch or a dinner somewhere nice. And the second day, I always look for vintage slash secondhand shops wherever we go. They're usually located in more hipster areas, which I always very much enjoy. And that would probably take us half a day. So again, I need something comfy, but something stylish, so I fit in. And the second or third day must be, because there is no way my children will just follow me everywhere I want to go. So one day must be just for them. So it would be a, either a zoo, some kind of fun park, a playground, I don't know, whatever they choose, whatever they enjoy. So one day will always be more casual, more dressed down, but still put together. Normally I choose my bags at the end. Um, so I have all my outfits, my footwear, jackets, and then I decide what bags I'm gonna take. But this time, because I wanted to take this beauty with me, I made sure that all the outfits match with this bag. And another big bag that I will show in a second. So this is a new bag that was recently sent to me by a brand called Atelier Auguste. This is a Parisian brand and all of their bags, beautiful leather bags, are made in Italy. Their handbags are very classic, timeless and I feel like they would uh, first of all go with everything but they will last. This bag is probably their smallest bag. I could go for anything much bigger, but I really want it. I have been looking for something like that for a really long time. And now that I've had it for around six weeks, uh, I can honestly say this is my favorite bag, a travel bag, uh, going to a city center, some crowded place, like really crowded place, uh, because I can put it in front like so and everything my money my phone everything is safe so it fits my my iphone um a passport my uh, card holder a lipstick and what else what else what else there's still some space so i could squeeze like a ticket um, a travel card or anything like that so i think it's really good size for such a small bag. Because the bag is so minimalistic and so clean, um, it just goes with everything and it makes every outfit more contemporary and more modern. This bag has a silver hardware and that's probably my only issue with the bag. I wish they had different options that you could choose. Silver and gold because I feel like gold is more popular, it goes with more things, especially in my wardrobe. Having said that, I never have any issues whenever I wear that bag, it doesn't bother me. So it's really nitpicking. And another thing is, the hardware on the bag is silver, like shiny silver, and the hardware on the strap is more of a gunmetal, darker silver. So again, this is just nitpicking, it doesn't bother me, but you can see it when you look closer. So just so you know, uh, and you don't blame me <laughs> when you receive the bag, 
I feel like this bag is nearly perfect and if it came with additional uh, chain strap so I could um, like a sil silver strap uh, so I could put that instead of the leather strap and uh, to use in the evening for more formal occasions I think then it would be a perfect small bag. I forgot to mention one detail. Because I always think about my viewers, I contacted the brand and I got 10% off any purchase for you. So don't forget to use my discount code MARIOLA10 at the checkout. It's really worth it. So for the second bag, I need something bigger. I could just go for a cotton tote, which I think it would be great. But if one day I decide not to take my small bag, I want to have something with the zip, with some compartments inside, something more secure and something more stylish, first of all. I need something that I can carry all day without a pain or struggle. And I kind of like this big, small bag combination in it with your outfit. Number one, the most important element is your footwear. So what you need for this kind of holiday is very comfortable shoes. A pair of minimal white sneakers that will go with everything, something stylish and very comfortable. And so that's one pair. My second pair of shoes is going to be my chunky derbies. I wanted something more smart, more put together, but also very comfortable. These shoes have all that. When you pack your footwear, make sure you consider all activities, all places you will be visiting. My third pair would be a pair of strappy sandals, something, I don't know, something uh, black, smart, something that will go with my smart choices that I would wear for an evening. Outerwear. Next to the footwear, it's a category that you should uh, plan ahead of your outfit. The reason being is the weather, activities you have planned, uh, the location, etc. I've decided to take my black blazer and a trench coat. A blazer is light, it's easy to wear, it's uh, no fuss outerwear, something that's more suitable for a city break, especially your active city break. But another reason I picked a black blazer and not any other color, uh, it could be navy as well. I wanted to have something dark that works for day to night. And my second jacket is a trench coat, a coat that you know very well, perfect for spring and perfect for European holiday city breaks. Something that's wind and possibly rainproof or showerproof. Um, and something that you feel comfortable and chic in. Plus, I feel like a trench coat, uh, a long trench coat, is something that can transform the outfit because this is the main thing you see. Okay, so now I will show you my um, outfit formulas, my base outfits. Because I've picked very classic and interchangeable pieces, they will mix and match very easily and smoothly between the outfits. For the first base, I picked my black uh, wool mix trousers. They look smart, but they can be worn uh, casually with sneakers um, or even my derbies. So it's a very classic and very practical pair of trousers. For tops, I have my white and black t-shirt. Uh, so of course, black trousers are very versatile and practical. I love them with my sneakers, a white t-shirt, um, a blazer or even just jumper over my shoulders or a trench coat. It's a really nice look, very put together, but very good outfit to wear on your city breaks. Something that's easy, you don't have to think about what you're wearing, you can just forget your outfit and you can focus on exploring the city. And you could go for a beige trousers and I think they would be as practical as these, as versatile, but I mentioned that in my last video, I really like black in spring, so I was thinking that 
These trousers pair, paired with my black t-shirt and black blazer, I create this very nice tonal outfit but not too heavy because you can easily roll up your sleeves. You can add, uh, of course, white sneakers. That's a really nice uh, clean element. And with that, you can wear a cardigan. A cardigan is a great layering item because you can wear it on top of your t-shirt, whether it's black or white, underneath your blazer and just unbutton it so you can't really see the cardigan. You will see just a little bit of the sleeve, a little bit here, a little bit there. Equally, you can take off the jumper when you get hot and you can keep it on your shoulders. And again, it's a very nice element. It's an added color, of course, so you can combine that with a lot of silver jewelry, some pearls, like a pearl necklace. You can transform your black outfit with just few little details. As a part of the base, but I don't have to wear it together, I have two shirts, one white and one blue. Now you can see two blue shirts. One is very strong, very bold, and the other is white and blue pinstripe. I will take both of them. It's just to show you that I can either go for something more subtle or a pop of color and it will still go with every outfit. And of course, black trousers work brilliantly for an evening look. So you can easily just wear the same trousers, the same black t-shirt or a white shirt and black blazer and add your heels or even I would just go with my derbies if I want to be comfortable because when I travel 99.9% .9 I travel with my family with my children so we don't really have a night out or going to a club uh, situation so I don't need to worry about that and my uh, outfits are more simple and practical so more comfortable shoes instead of heels that you know I can walk in for 10 minutes it's just better idea in my case. My second base outfit is my midi skirt, which I have here. Um, I really wanted to take my taupey green uh, skirt, but because of the color combination, it wouldn't be as practical. When you really limit it to very small amount of items, something beige or something black is just the most practical item. So with this skirt I will wear either my white or black t-shirt, that's already the items that are smoothly transferring between the outfits. I can also wear any shirt with it, I think that would be really nice, more interesting, something oversized, so perhaps my white shirt because it's got the slits on the sides, but I can also wear this skirt with a jumper. Oh, and here is something that I want you to remember when you pack. Don't go for simple outfits, top, bottoms and shoes. Always remember about layering because first of all, layering gives you more interesting and not too obvious outfit uh, and it helps you to add um, some pieces when you get cold, take away some pieces and you still have a nice outfit. So um, when I say I can wear my jumper with this skirt, I can just go for a t-shirt and jumper on top of it and then when I get warm I remove the jumper uh, and I wear it on my shoulders and that's a really nice interesting look but I can also wear a cardigan you can wear this cardigan with a t-shirt or with a tank top I didn't mention the tank top because as a separate it doesn't really mean much but layered with other pieces is such a nice and impactful item I can just wear a cardigan on top and even open some buttons but leave the rest very loose, nonchalant and the whole outfit is gonna look really interesting. Why did I go for a midi skirt for my uh, spring break? Because I wanted versatility. Uh, you can easily uh, pack just trousers or a pair of jeans but everything will be too similar. All your outfits will look very similar and you won't have choice. Another reason, just like the black trousers, I can wear it with my sneakers, with my derbies for a daytime, 
with a strappy jumper, for example, but I can easily transform this skirt to an evening uh, outfit. Yes, you could pack a nice, uh, evening top, something small, something that doesn't take too much space and that's probably what I would do but if I didn't have space or I just didn't want to deal with it I would just wear that with a black t-shirt and a black blazer, lots of gold jewelry or maybe silver, I love silver with black too and high heels. If your items work for different occasions you don't need too many of them. Uh, as you can see, this is pretty much what I will be taking. So this is not even that much. And my third base outfit would be a pair of wide leg jeans. And this can be any jeans you prefer, anything you feel comfortable in. I decided to go for something loose, something full length, because I feel like it's just more practical and um, it looks a little bit more put together, more unique than just straight leg. As I mentioned, I would wear it to a fun park, to a zoo, to something more casual that I wouldn't be too um, precious to get dirty in. Even if you're going somewhere with your kids, you can still look nice and put together. I love denim jeans with a blazer and jumper on my shoulders. Uh, so I can easily put it on uh, take it off again and keep it on my shoulders. So the outfit is still very light and I just like this little element that adds something nonchalant. But you can use exactly same trick with the trench coat. And I like that striped jumper on my shoulders because unlike any other plain jumper, it adds uh, some pattern, it adds some uh, geometric uh, shape. I don't know how to explain it, but striped jumper on your shoulders with any outfit is like 10 points more for me, uh, plus sunglasses. It's just um, an outfit. Another great item to pair with your jeans and any style of jeans is a white shirt or a blue shirt for that matter, because I love my blue jeans with any uh, shirt. They look really nice with blue. It's more of a tonal look and the white sneakers with that is just great and it's very practical too. As you can see, my outfits, my clothes are very uh, timeless, very classic, very neutral. Um, I don't think they are boring. I think you can do a lot with layering, with different textures, different colors. Blue shirt can add a pop of color. Stripes can add some geometry and something interesting, some pattern. Uh, so there are things that you can do to make your outfit more interesting. Now the outfit is not complete without accessories and jewelry. It's so important, especially when you travel, to take with you um, not too much, but just your favorite necklaces, your favorite earrings, your favorite watches. I can't go anywhere without packing my favorite items because uh, I know they can pimp my outfit, they can add so much personality because I pick them. It's my style. Uh, without them, my outfit is quite generic, so I want to add something that's, uh, that reflects my personality. And make sure you take uh, sets. So earrings that go with your necklace and with your watch. So it's going to be so much easier to put it together without really thinking too much. For example, because my rocket bag has silver hardware, I like to, whenever I can, add more silver to my outfit. So then I choose my silver watch, I choose my silver earrings or pearls with silver, and all that creates a very unique, interesting story. It tells a story about me. As a last thing, I just wanted to add that the wardrobe I've selected is very versatile and it's very easy to use for different climate and for different activities. If I was going to a warmer country, something like Turkey in spring, I would just swap few things and I would keep the same base. So I would just change my wool mix trousers to something like that, something linen viscose mix, something light, something that has this summer vibe. The second thing, I would probably swap my trench for um, 
maybe this blazer, something lighter. If you don't wear blazers, you could take your bomber jacket, your denim jacket, or you can take a linen jacket. Again, something light, something short, because we don't want to deal with long maxi stuff when it's quite warm. I would also uh, swap my chunky derbies for a pair of sandals, something like um, Birkenstock for example. Um, sometimes I just swap uh, the skirt for a dress and maybe take more linen shirts instead of cotton shirts. If you like the general idea but there are some things that don't work for you, uh, just swap it. So this is my spring city break uh, mini wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. Please give it your thumbs up. If you want to see more styling and smart casual outfits, please subscribe to my channel because I always focus on comfortable, practical and chic dressing. Thank you so much for watching. I see you in my next video and in the meantime, have a lovely week.